Hey guys, Ralph here, True Power Trumpet Fitness, and welcome to a an amazing, a fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. Uh, this will be the last one until Monday. As you know, I usually take the weekends off. Um, I have an insanely busy weekend anyway, and I have an insanely busy afternoon. That's why I'm getting this done uh, first thing a.m. Uh, you saw the thumbnail. It's a topic there that I really feel like I have to address, and it's very interesting. Uh, so with that said. Let's play a little bit, and uh, I've not played yet today, and uh, we'll see what we got, and we'll talk about getting dizzy. Not Gillespie, getting dizzy. So, anyway, first notes of the day, Arbin and double C's. Uh, as you know, sometimes I play a rip up to a double C and then I play Arbin. And sometimes I'll throw a double C into Arbin. Life's good. Anyway, you noticed five and a half octave range and I did not get dizzy. Okay? Dizzy is important, guys. I, I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm getting serious. So many of the times I'm, I'm goofing around and tongue-in-cheek and all this sort of stuff. But I'm, I'm dead serious here. On so many levels, you can't let yourself get dizzy. Now, back in the day, I'm talking Bernie Glow and, and Bob McCoy and, and John Frosk and uh, Conrad Gotso and, and all those guys. Back in the day, it was almost a badge of courage to get dizzy and sometimes pass out in a difficult passage. Oh, here we go. That uh, that, that C section in, in this tune, uh, yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna get dizzy. Right, guys, you can't do it. You can't do it. Listen, in some way, shape, or form, when you get dizzy, whether whether you're you're running, whether you're doing an athletic event, whether you, you stand up too quickly, whether uh, you play it while you're getting while you're getting dizzy while you're playing. Guys, what is happening is to some degree, in some way, shape, or form, it can happen lots of different ways, and I'm not going to get into it too much, get the science behind it. You are cutting off oxygen to the brain, and in effect, you are having a little tiny little micro stroke. Guys, and that's not good. That's not good. Now, once every once in a while, you know, I'm not going to say even once is good when you think about it in those terms. But to just have it time after time after time, every time you play, you know, MacArthur Park, you're going to get dizzy. Guys, you can't do that. You know I'm heavily, heavily into health and fitness. And I, I think health, more than double C, is, is, your, is your salvation in life. I'm really too. If, if you have your health, you're golden. If you don't have your health, life is tough. Okay? And guys, you can't do it. Now, uh, has anybody witnessed anybody having a stroke? And I don't want to get smug about this. I have. I have. My mother had a stroke right in front of my eyes. She got up and walked, and all of a sudden, she's weaving back and forth. She doesn't drink. None of us drink. And then she collapsed, and she got dizzy first. Guys, it is a micro stroke, a little dizzy. Okay? You get up too quick. No, it's not a big deal if it happened once in, in 20 years, okay? But if it happens every single time you stand up from a chair, something's going on. You see what I'm saying? And you can't let it happen every time you go above high C or that type of thing, okay? Now, that's on a health level. On a trumpet level, if you're getting dizzy when you're playing the trumpet, you're doing something wrong. Case closed. You're doing something wrong. Jerry... 88 years old, and not in the greatest health in the world. He's the first to tell you, okay? He's got about 30% of his lung capacity. He can play triple C's and beyond and never get dizzy. Guys, I don't get dizzy anymore. I used to. 
but I wasn't playing completely correctly. Every once and again, I would get dizzy. You know it gets dizzy, and you got to be careful if you're adding the kettlebells. All of a sudden, that exertion and everything, and the VO2, and I don't want to get into the carbon dioxide mix and, and all this sort of stuff. Um, but every once in a while, I would get dizzy with that, and I realize I can't do that. I have to wait a good 15, 20, 30 seconds after I do the kettlebell before I, I, before I start playing, okay? So, again, it can happen in lots of ways. Now, first of all, think about it. If you just hold your breath, you can get dizzy, okay? So if we're, you're playing along and you're getting towards the end of a phrase and you're getting dizzy, well, you gotta stop, you, you, you have to stop. Wait till it passes, you gotta breathe more. Now, I, uh, advocate, as you know, very, very little breath. Now, the thing about it is, that's a good thing and a bad thing, that you have to know what you're doing here. Now, the great Stan Mark, who just overblew his whole life, would constantly get dizzy. Okay, I, I mean, it was a matter of course. Constantly get dizzy. He was overblowing. Now, if you think, I'm using as little, and I want all my students to use as little uh, air as possible, well, that should be the problem. Well, still, if, if, if you're going too long past the, the, the rate that you have uh, the air, not only does that compromise your compression because there's no air to, there to compress, but again, you start lacking oxygen to the brain. Okay? Now, here's one. Just take a breath and just strain. <sighs> right, you listen to weight. I mean, weightlifters get dizzy all the time. So again, if you're straining or overblowing, which is against all that we talk about, and you get dizzy, you're not playing the way, we, the way you should. Okay. Now, if you don't quite have the double C, and you start getting dizzy at a double C, lay off the double Cs until they get easier. Guys, you should not have to strain. Guys. But that piece, and I told you before, that is the variation uh, three in Arvin, four, I'm not even sure. I told you, I met Maurice Andre years ago, and he told me that low G was the one note that he could not play. And he was playing it on a C trumpet, so it was actually low A. Very, very tight, and I just took it as, you know, you know, back when I was 18 years old. If I could play that G, well, I must be better than Maurice, right? Well, that is a G that he couldn't play, Okay, and I took it up to a double C after playing that. Now again, that's not, that doesn't make me better than Maurice. It's not what I'm saying, but I was not the least bit dizzy. That is, I mean, in effect, all you need from a low G to a double C, all you need is a trumpet player, and you don't get dizzy. Okay, so if the compression is right, you don't need a lot of air. If the compression is right, you're not straining. If the compression is right, you're not overblowing. See, the true power system, if it's done correctly, will, will, will eliminate dizzy spells, okay? And if dizzy spells are a part of it, of your normal day-to-day -day existence, oh, here comes, here comes a high B flat, I'm going to get well, then you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong, and you just can't do it, guys. From a health perspective, you just can't do it. So stop. Analyze what you're doing. 99% of the time, it, it's a stand mark issue, and you are probably overblowing, okay? Which means you're not compressing, right, and all that. Overblowing is, is the root of all evil. It really is. Um, and actually, I had an email just this morning. Overblowing can also cover a multitude of sins. I mean, you would think the stand mark had all the... the I, I'm not picking on stand mark. Listen, stand mark... <laughs> Stan Mark played lead trumpet in one of the toughest, lead, most visible lead books in, in the world for a long time. And I'm not, not knocking Stan Mark. I admire Stan Mark for, for his lead playing. That's not what I'm saying. But he did overblow. There's no question. And if you ask Stan Mark to play something delicate in, in a, in a uh, brass quintet uh, type setting, he'd have trouble. He'd have trouble. Okay? So, anyway. Dizzy, 
on so many levels, and not Gillespie, not good. Not good. Stop. Let it pass. Reset. Analyze what just happened. Again, without you sitting next to me, I don't know, but I can almost guarantee you're overblowing, which will lead to strain, which will lead to not enough air. I, I mean, it's just a dizzy spell waiting to happen. And guys, keep in mind, especially when you get to my age, mid 60s, I have beyond. You can't. You can't be having little micro strokes. You can't. You can't do it. I mean, you can't do it when you're 13 either. But but you can't do it any. Guys, be careful. Okay. It is not a badge of courage. It's not something that should happen all the time. Quite the opposite, guys. You should be able to play in double C so easy. It's like falling off falling off a chair. Probably not the right analogy when we're talking about strokes, but but anyway. Got it? Okay. A uh, lot more to talk about. I really do. I'm getting some very interesting questions in the emails and stuff. Keep them coming, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great vac uh, vacation. Great weekend, and uh, drink your fruits and vegetables, and live life with true power.